My name is Carl Bevier. I'm the general manager of Sandals Grand uh, St. Lucia. I've been with the company for uh, close to 16 years. Um, I started life as a, as a chef with the company um, at the Halcyon, it was my very first hotel. I um, was the executive chef, I then moved into food and beverage, uh, then went off to Jamaica for the very first time. I uh, was the food and beverage manager at Sandals Duns River, um, spent two years there then moved to uh, Sandals Antigua as the food and beverage manager uh, and spent two years uh, at Sandals Antigua. Came back to St. Lucia as the food and beverage director of Sandals Grand for the first time. Uh, spent another two years uh, here as the food and beverage director. Actually left the company, had the opportunity to uh, manage Discovery at Marigo Bay. Uh, so I spent uh, close to two years at Discovery at Marigo Bay. And then Miss Sandals so much that I uh, rejoined the company as the hotel manager at Sandals Le Toc, uh, and then uh, became the general manager at Sandals Le Grill in Jamaica and then moved to Sandals White House in Jamaica and then back to Sandals Grand in St Lucia. So I'm back home now. Growing up as a, as a kid, my father was a great cook, uh, as, as is my mother. Um, I think growing up I always wanted to be uh, a chef. I had the opportunity um, while I was at school, uh, washing up on the weekends in, in a local restaurant, and which is, I can tell you, the toughest job in the industry. When Nelson Mandela was here, um, doing lunch for him and a boat trip was, was definitely a, a highlight um, for me. Uh, when I worked in London, uh, looking after the Chelsea football team was uh, a highlight. Um, when I worked in Antigua, looking after the West Indian and Indian cricket teams uh, was definitely a real, a real highlight um, for me. When I look back in my career, uh, I've done everything at quite a young age and I think my age was always, uh, could sometimes be a hurdle. Oh, he's too young, he's not ready, doesn't have the experience. Um, but I also see them as opportunities as well because you have to work that little bit harder to prove that you do have the experience, you are old enough and you can do the job. I think you have to have a passion for it. If you're looking for a nine to five job, uh, this is not the place for you. If you're looking for uh, an office job, this is not the place for you. This is, a, this is a people industry and it's all about relationships, whether it's relationships with your team, relationships with the guests. Uh, and my one piece of advice is be persistent, is don't ever give up.